everyone, it's Karen from Art by Karen e. Haley, and I am in the middle of moving out of my art room because I'm pregnant and it, the baby is due January 26th, so yay, we're super excited. We've tried for years to conceive and have a baby. Um, we have our son, he's five years old, and we had two miscarriages before this pregnancy. Uh, and after the one that was successful. <laughs> so um, that was really trying. The last one, the last time I had a miscarriage, it was September of last year. And I had, you know, I had just, I had, it had really affected me um, emotionally. It made it really hard for me to feel like drawing and creating things. And then right after that, my computer died. That is my computer that I used to edit all my YouTube videos. Um, and it had been getting graphics card errors. And I decided to pull a bunch of files off of it. And while I was pulling the files off of it, it stopped working. And then when I tried to turn it back on, the monitor would not display anything. So I thought, oh, the monitor's broken because the monitor had been having issues too. So I tried another monitor, that didn't work either. So I thought, oh, maybe it's the cable. Well, I replaced the cable and that didn't work. And then I tried using an HDMI cable and that didn't work either. <laughs> so by power of elimination, <laughs> I figured out it was the graphics card because the computer would turn on, it would do an error beep that uh, when I looked it up with my laptop, it basically said this certain beep has to do with graphics card issues. Yay! <laughs> and then uh, I also know it's a graphics card issue because when I plug in or put in a CD into the CD player after I turn on the computer and push the CD player closed, it will automatically start to play music. So I know it still does stuff, it just won't display anything. And right after that happened, my husband lost his job, which was very hard on all of us. It, we had just gone through a miscarriage, and then he <laughs> loved his job. He was a security officer at the hospital here in Salem, and he really loved the job, but they do a training period and then uh, a practical evaluation or something like that. And anyway, he unfortunately did not pass his evaluation. Uh, he's, it really upset him. And he loved this job. He really did. And then, because he lost his job, we became behind on, you know, we were behind by about a month on car payments and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, financial issues caused that to be not a priority. Uh, and my laptop has had a shattered screen for quite a while. It still displays stuff, but it has cracks literally all over it. It's so hard to look at. We usually plug it into our television and use it as basically a television. <laughs> we use the laptop to plug into the TV and watch stuff. We really don't do a whole lot with the laptop anymore. It will not run Premiere Pro. Every time I try to open that up, it crashes. That was the editing software I was comfortable with using. I was really comfortable with using that computer, and when it died, it felt like my channel had been taken away from me. I couldn't get the laptop to work, and I did not understand how to edit things on my iPhone. And then uh, the new year start started rolling around, and we realized that, uh, oh, well, before that, before that, okay, before, before the new year, before Christmas holiday, and after my husband had gotten a new job, uh, around November, I got a job at Toys R Us, and I was working there four to five days a week, and I loved that job. It was so much fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and I'm really sad that Toys R Us is gone. Uh, it was a really fun place to work. I loved shopping for people. I was a sales associate. I was not really on the register all that much. 
My job was to help people find what they were looking for, so I basically got to shop for people in a toy store all day. It was a lot of fun. But, because I was doing that, I really didn't have time to make art videos, and I just fell out of the habit of creating in general. I wouldn't sketch or anything. And then I never got back into the habit, and it's taken me a long time to really get back into the habit. I feel like there's really no point in trying to do things on my YouTube channel because my laptop will not edit stuff. But I finally just put my foot down and said, you know, no more excuses, figure out a way to come back to YouTube. So that's what I'm doing. I found an editing software that I can kind of understand on my with my laptop. Um, I found a way to hook my laptop up to a different screen. It will not hook up to that one because it does not have an HDMI port and my laptop does not have an RGB port. So this one and my laptop don't make friends, but I do have another monitor that I can plug into where I can look at the screen and not go blind. Because my laptop makes my eyes hurt really bad. Uh, and it hurts just as bad to try and use an enormous screen to edit. So, um, I'm coming back. Don't expect me to be super regular for the first few months. Eventually I'm going to replace that computer, but it's going to be a while. If you want to help me out with that, I do have stuff on Redbubble, and I'll put a link to that in the description. And I gotta go, because my son is sick, and he just woke up. So, I'll see you guys in another video, and I will... Talk to you later. Hey, buddy.